everybody welcome to day two of the emotional eating group again my name is rachel hunt bailey and i'm here to talk to you about how we can accept emotional eating so today is going to be mostly about mindfulness awareness and acceptance of what's going on i want to remove any guilt any shame any discomfort you have with the label emotional eater or the fact that we sometimes emotionally eat. Emotional eating looks different on everybody and I don't want to label it an eating disorder. Okay, it's, it, we're, um, if you have an eating disorder, then obviously this group is here to support you. But this group is not just for people who um, struggle with anorexia, bulimia. It's for people who are also just reaching for the candy bar reaching for the popcorn, sitting down and eating because um, it's stress relieving. There's all kinds of types of emotional eating. And so I just wanna remove any labels, any guilt, any shame that comes from being here in this group. This is a safe place. So today is mindfulness, um, awareness, and acceptance. All right, so, the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right into an exercise. So if you can, please grab a journal and a pen so you can take notes, all right? I'm gonna move kind of quickly through these exercises, so if you wanna pause after each exercise, please feel free to do that. So the very first thing I want you to do is I want you to try to remember the last time you ate emotionally. Could have been yesterday, two days ago, a week ago, three weeks ago. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you a second to think about the last time you ate emotionally. Doesn't matter what that looked like. It could have just been you craving something and reaching for it when you're not hungry. Anytime you ate when you were not hungry or you avoided eating. That also counts, okay? If you avoided eating for some reason. Think about that. All right, you got it in your mind? Now I want you to write this down. Number one. What was the situation? Okay, so here's the things you're gonna kind of process through. I want you to process through um, where were you when you were emotional eating? Eating to satisfy a craving, eating to cover up an emotion, or choosing to abstain from eating. Where were you? Who were you with? Were you alone? Were you with a friend, family, spouse? Who were you with? What was happening? Now, when I say what was happening, what I want you to think of as what was happening right before you decided you were craving something or you decided to overeat or you decided to eat when you were not hungry? What happened right before that? Or what was about to happen? Okay, what just happened? What was happening? what was about to happen. Number two, write this down. What emotions were present? What were you feeling? This might take some time for you to really work through because you might not even be aware that you were feeling emotions. And there's a reason for this. We eat to numb our feelings, okay? Whether you're conscious of that or not, it's true, okay? Anytime we're craving something, we're eating to numb an emotion. So I want you to think of the situation and then I want you to think about what emotions were present. This might take a lot of thought. What were you feeling? Okay, were you feeling stressed, anxious, defeated, insecure? Nervous. Number three, how did the emotions affect your eating? In other words, did you reach for a specific food? Did you overeat? Did you eat more quickly? What happened with the food? How did the emotions affect your eating? It could be that you just ate when you weren't hungry. That's, an, that's also an effect. 
or eating for a specific craving like chocolate. Number four, what were the emotions you experienced after eating? Some people experience relaxation or a release of emotions. Some people feel happy. Some people feel guilty. Some people feel shame. Some people feel more excited. They have more energy. What were you feeling after the emotional eating took place? Okay, and remember these exercises are to bring awareness, not guilt or shame. I will be the first to say I emotionally eat. First thing I reach for is chocolate. It's usually if I'm feeling defeated or deflated or insecure, stressed, tired, if I've just had an event that's really stressful or if I'm about to have an event that's really stressful, then I tend to emotionally eat. And it's not that I'm okay with that and that I'm okay with living with that for the rest of my life, but I'm okay with admitting it and trying to work through some of this stuff and moving forward. So whereas tomorrow we're gonna deal with healthier ways to deal with our emotions, today I just want you to be more mindful, aware, and able to accept the fact that we emotionally eat. All right, have a wonderful day. Let me know when you do your homework. If you're brave, you can post your answers below. That's always awesome if we can have people participating in the group. But if you don't want to share your answers, you do not have to. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you tomorrow.